today from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the AFC NFC Pro Bowl. we'll see Russell Wilson and the NFC taking on Lamar Jackson and the AFC. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Well, we are a week away from Super Bowl 55 in Tampa, but the very best players in the NFL have made the trip out to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, it's the Pro Bowl. You never really know what to expect, so I guess I'll ask you, what do you expect? Well, in recent years, it has turned into an absolute offensive explosion, hasn't it? Games in the 50s are not out of line. What you're hoping is that some of these great defenders have a chance to adjust and react and maybe narrow that down a little bit. But I will say, this game is tilted heavily towards the offense's advantage. The best players the NFL has to offer on one stage. The AFC and FC Pro Bowl underway here in Vegas. And he returns this to the 22. Here comes the NFC offense, and CD, it'll be Russell Wilson who leads them out under center. Gave the commencement address at the University of Wisconsin a couple of years ago. One of the most popular players ever to pull on the uniform there. The beginning of his career, he was a so-called game manager. Take care of the football and rely on the defense. Now, in this stage of his career, the offense runs through him, and it runs very well. start to the drive 17 yards and moves the sticks well partner for a few years there we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole nfl it seemed like everyone was using it but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit but when you call it at the right time and you use it properly you see the type of gains you can get a nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. And a man making his first Pro Bowl appearance, Dalvin Cook of the Vikings. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. McCaffrey with a first down more. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. side of the field now it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive now they'll throw it with Wilson he's got a man complete it's Amari Cooper Wilson's pass. a gain of six there on first I always laugh when people say what's the toughest route to defend not like any of them especially if it's a good receiver that makes things very difficult but when you're running a drag route something short shallow going through defenders 
using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. This is McCaffrey on the give. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 15. The first down there on a pickup of 25. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And this time they're able to bottle him up as they'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. Marlon, Marlon Humphrey with the tackle defensively. That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. You think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, NFC. A 16-yard touchdown. Takes it all the way down the field to score on their opening drive. So the NFC with our first touchdown of the game. And of course, we'll probably see some offense in this one. I don't know, though, that we'll see what we saw in 2013 when the NFC posted 62 points. You talk about pyrotechnics. That was crazy, even for a Pro Bowl. 62 points. I think you wore out your voice in that one, talking about all the touchdowns that were scored. I would love to see 63 or more, though, I got to tell you. All about offense in this thing. Pro Bowl. Offense. Let's go. His kick is good, and the NFC goes up 7-0. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's finished off by an NFC touchdown. stars to choose from over that conference but their starter at quarterback it's Lamar Jackson and no one can run the football like Lamar Jackson from the quarterback position the most dynamic guy with the ball in his hands since probably Michael Vick got more accurate throwing the football each and every year at Louisville but how about this one a first round pick in 2017 the number 32 pick in the first round the last guy to do that at Louisville Teddy Bridgewater the same exact pick when he came out First and ten, it's Jackson stepping up. He'll try and run. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The tackle made by Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Here's second and a yard. Here's the NFL's leading rusher, Derrick Henry of the Titans. And he stopped immediately there. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this.
They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Now Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. They end up getting stuck twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? That's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. Fourth down, here's Brett Kern of Tennessee on to punt for the AFC. And Deontay Harris of the Saints back deep for the NFC. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the NFC will take over first and 10. So now we'll get our second look in this game at the NFC offense. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. First down, Wilson. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Here's Wilson. He completes it to Julio Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. He had to figure they'd try and get the ball to Julio early, and they did it right there. And it doesn't take a degree from MIT to know that, so you had to figure, what's up with the defense? You should know that that's coming right away. First down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the gun, it's Wilson. And that's going to be too high. Incomplete. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again, Wilson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's got his own pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. First catch for last year's NFL catch leader, and it's a first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. 
10. He'll go down at the 28. Devin McCourty brings him down. You feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second down and six. Now Wilson. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. On the carry. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. On second down, McCaffrey. And he is in. Touchdown, NFC. Scampering home from 19 yards out. And the NFC able to widen their advantage. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Goal to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A 10-play drive that time. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Takes this about five yards deep. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. So now the AFC offense here coming back out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Draw play. This is Henry. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 11 yards there, first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. 
A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Now they'll run it on the toss. There he goes again. And finally taken down at the 15. It's a big run there by Henry. 46 yards on the ground. So a big play there running right. The DN couldn't get out. They couldn't stop him. It was the offense setting the edge and getting the big game. Yeah, essentially when you're the defensive end, when they talk about setting the edge so the offense has to bounce it one way or the other, instead that edge was actually rounded off by the offense <laughs> and continued deep down the field. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. A first down carry for Henry. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Jalen Smith tied for six in the NFL in tackles last year in on the stop there. At the NFC's 15-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And that's a Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. But now it's third down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Jackson from the shotgun. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Intended for Travis Kelsey. Incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. to NFC 14, AFC 3. Well, no surprise there. Extremely reliable during the regular season. Bailed his team out time and again. Knocks another one through this time in the Pro Bowl. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return, Deontay Harris. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The NFC takes over first down. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. And he's made it easy for us to put together a highlight package. Just wondering what he ate before this one started. <laughs> Let's include that in the package, right? Get the gourmet out here, figure it all out. And you're guaranteed he'll do that going forward as well. Because with a game like this, you don't want to change things too much. Oh, yeah. You also want to continue to get that great blocking he's received today, too. Yeah. Kudos to the guys up front, indeed. Ready to begin their next drive here the NFC offense and right now they're saying hey let's keep this going two drives two touchdowns yeah can't ask for a better start than that can you I mean this is the way you practice it this is the way you rehearse it but right now the play calling they're locked in really well a gain of six there on first and I think defensively you're okay with that you're in the first quarter he's going to get some catches but they rallied to him quickly and that's what you count on and I like what you just said first quarter can you do it all game long they catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to start them out when you do that. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. After one, a 14-3 ball game. NFC 14, AFC 3. Here 
here's McCaffrey. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Jake McCaffrey of the ball carrier. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Working with a second and four. On the ground, McCaffrey. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. on the tackle. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Wilson. Now he steps away. He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. <laughs> to throw again on second down. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on air commentary here. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Wilson completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. George Kittle. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Fourth down, here's Wilson. And he connects with Ertz. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Coming up on second and seven. <laughs> Trying to get to the outside. This is McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Back. 
Now Wilson. Step. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Cameron Hayward attacking off the edge that time. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Throwing is Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the gun, Wilson. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the stop will come inside the five of the four. For a four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his pit catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. try the field goal from the right hash and this one just a chippy and in his 15th season he's able to get this one to go and they will stretch the lead now to 17 to 3 a 15 play drive and it results in three points so some disappointment it's funny we had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator what did he tell us i just want every drive to end in a kick right an extra point a punt or a field goal well in this case i think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick but that type of a drive should end in the end zone So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. The AFC about ready to take over on offense. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They begin with Henry. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. The ball carrier. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? They'll come up now second and four from the 31. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. This defense is really fooled around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Jackson. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. For an 
That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run on first down. It's Henry. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Success. Be careful. Play your keys. Play your techniques. Watch out for something coming at you. Good job defending the run. Probably going to have to defend the pass here. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. From the gun, Jackson being chased out left. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that play's over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's got this down to the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Operating from the gun. Jackson. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. A gain of six there on first. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. And then work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 15 yards on the play, first down. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. It's a pickup of three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action.
reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Try to punch it in with Henry. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. Second and goal, Jackson. Touchdown, AFC. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Harris to return it. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Deontay Harris on the return. The NFC takes over first and 10. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has. And that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000-yard mark. I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to cut that a little. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, Wilson. 
And he's got the connection to Cooper. Now the NFC going to take a timeout their second as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Operating from the gun. Wilson steps away. Now he'll pull it down. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. and 10. It's Wilson. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now the NFC going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Position to be in here, second and inches. From the gun, Wilson. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Orlando, first down. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. So we've reached halftime of the 2019 Pro Bowl with the NFC on top. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well, as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The AFC going to get the ball first as we are back underway on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. AFC takes over first and 10. At the AFC offense now set to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Second and ten. To throw again. Jackson flush to his right. 
A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Lamar Jackson on the keeper. Marshawn Lattimore on the tackle. A gain of nine brings up third and one. push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now the NFC heading out for their first drive of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. Now, how about that play right there? Part of you remember I told you about the home run hitter theory that someone told me years ago? What's that? Meaning a guy who hits home runs in the major leagues, go back and trace what he did all the way growing up, probably hit home runs at every level. That's just who he is. Well, this guy sacked people all during the regular season. Why wouldn't he do the same thing here at the Pro Bowl? Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Operating from the gun, Wilson. It's caught, Cooper. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. McCaffrey and he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker a nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot a good pick up there seven yards but it brings up fourth down boy where would these guys be without his performance on the ground that puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon and I tell you he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along
Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The AFC set to take over on offense. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Ball at the 23, second and eight. A give to Henry. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Ball carrier. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And three. Jackson looking to throw on third. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He went backwards five yards there on third down to bring up fourth. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for the AFC. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the NFC offense set to take over again. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now it's Wilson. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. On third and one, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Yeah. 
Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The AFC offensive unit getting set to take over. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now Jackson on first down. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. They go play action now. Jackson, they'll buy some time right. They'll try and run it. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. It looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Russell Wilson in the NFC offense ready to go once more. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it with the error side, you know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Wilson. Comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We're kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way, it's not formed perfectly. You've got to make sure you hit it just right. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on to punt for the NFC. Turn, and the AFC will have it first and 10 deep in their own territory. 
Back out is the AFC offense. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. It's the pro bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. On second down, here's Henry. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get them much at all. No, not at all. That leaves them with third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. On third down, Mixon. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Eight yards there. First down, AFC. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. to Mixon on first down. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 11. First down, AFC. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action. Now Jackson. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Still 14 yards to go, second down. They'll run it again with Henry. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. On the delay, it's Mixon. 
And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Give him nine on the carry, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. That is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted at, their own spotted at the 14-yard line. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Partner, I know my grade school teachers never would believe this, but I can absorb a lesson. I think there's a lesson in this one. He's having a great day running the football, but occasionally... They're going to find a way to stop you, aren't they? Yeah, this time the defense stepped up in what's been so far a tough game for them. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. It's all to take care of the ball and try to move forward. A gain of 11. First down NFC. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On first down, this is McCaffrey. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Now think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario. To Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. It 
Here's Wilson to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Results. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for the NFC. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the AFC will take over first and ten. The AFC offense making their way back out. And one thing you'd like to see in a Pro Bowl, a competitive contest. We've got that just like the last two seasons, a one-score game as we play here in the fourth. What I'd love to know, what's the discussion on the sidelines of both teams right now? Because, you know, it's an exhibition-type game. But as you said, as competitive as it is now, these guys are going to want to win. There may be some guys who sub some guys out trying to get back on the field and try to help their team win down the stretch. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. No gain on the play. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Again, it's Mixon. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Joe Mixon. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. The AFC thus far on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and six. Jackson from the shotgun. He finds back and complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's good. For a gain of 11 and a first down. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten from the gun. Jackson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was trying to go back to Edelman, and it's second down. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Try again from the 36 on second and 10. Throwing again. Jackson. He finds his target. Back up. And getting this chest shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. A gain of 13. It's a first down. We just saw an example of what we talk about all the time when we meet with coaches. They want that hidden yardage to come to the front when they throw the football throw it, catch it, and then pick up more yardage after the catch. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Edelman, the intended receiver that time, but it's going to be second down. You're going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Jackson. 
He finds his running back, Mixon. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. On third down, Jackson. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. Here's Brett Kern now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And good hustle here, as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here, as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Here now the NFC to take over on offense. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game, after a pretty easy week heading into it, that the pressure would ratchet up now and someone has to make a play, which means someone will have a play made against them and they'll have to live with that for the rest of the year. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Here's second and nine. the gun. Here's Wilson sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to keep it here. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender. I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. Seven yards, the pick up there. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Wilson. Well, the pressure gets home, and the AFC comes up with a sack. It was Miles Garrett that time who got in there and brought him down. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. The numbers for the NFC on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Wilson. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Two yards is all they get on the completion. It's fourth down. They hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for the NFC. The 
be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. The AFC about ready to take over on offense. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. on first down, buying time to his left. He'll run it, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. This is Mixon on the draw. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. That first good for 20 and a first down. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now. But that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. From the gun, Jackson rolling to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Throwing again on second down. Jackson to mix it on the check down. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the AFC with the football as we welcome you back they come up on a first and ten desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive dancing they can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game Donald just so strong they can't block him and he records the sack Jackson trying to hustle his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage here's Jackson and this one into the hands of DJ Shark that catch good for only a yard and it'll be third down it drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He's back to throw. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. First things first here, they got to pick up the first down. And remember, it is fourth down, so they've got to pick up a completion here. Otherwise, this one's over. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. He's got the first down inside the 10. And all the way down to the five. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Now the AFC going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A 
looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the AFC going to take a timeout. It's their second as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Back to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll look to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Has been a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Likely the play of the game here. Trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by the Pro Bowl safety, Eddie Jackson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who've had the receivers on lockdown. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Now the AFC going to use their final timeout of the half as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. time and that should just about do it. So, Charles, a victory for the NFC. Final thoughts on this Pro Bowl? We had some fun, didn't we? Absolutely. A lot of excitement, some big plays to watch, a lot of those great matchups that we don't get to see during the regular season because sometimes teams don't play against each other. And, oh, by the way, no one got hurt. There's the win for everyone. I think the fans enjoyed this one. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.